Good day. Today I'm again reading from Ken Copeland's Pursuit of His Presence. Let us labor, therefore, to enter through that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. For the word of God is quick, alive, and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and as a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Hebrews 4, 11-12. The word of God is alive. It will go into the very marrow of your bones. It will go into your mind, your will, and your emotions and change them. It will go into your spirit and let you, and get you born again. When you spend time meditating on the word, when you abide in it, it will begin to change your thinking. Then it will convert your way of living and turn you around. It will bring your body into health. It will make your mind sound. It will make you prosperous. It literally has the power of God within it. Although we work and put forth effort to learn that word, to spend time in it, to speak it and obey it, it is actually the word itself that brings about the changes in our lives. That's what the writer of Hebrew means when he says, we labor therefore to enter into that rest. We rest on the word, knowing it will accomplish what God has promised. Some believers wear themselves out trying to make the word of God come to pass, but that's not our job. Our job is to make things happen. Our job is to let the work, word abide in us. Rather, our job is not to, let, to make things happen. Our job is to let the word abide in us. Our job is to abide in Jesus. Our job is to replace our thoughts with his thoughts, to speak and to act in line with his word. But it is God who performs it. He's the one who will cause his promises to become a living, manifest reality in our lives. What's more, he can do it right in the midst of the worst trouble the world has ever seen. He can do it in the midst of the worst trouble in which we may find ourselves. He can prosper us in the midst of famine. He can heal us in the midst of plagues. He can keep us safe when danger is on every hand. In fact, he can and will give us anything we ask. If we're abiding in him, and his word is abiding in us, then in his position we are always asking according to his will. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the practices that we desired of him. 1 John 5, 14-15 So let not your heart be troubled, just set your heart on Jesus. Just let the word of God answer the situation and you'll make it through in the glorious victory of God. And personalized word today is the word of God is alive and powerful. Therefore, I can enter into that rest. Gloria Copeland writes in her book about Proverbs in Hidden Treasures, whatever you're believing God for that's in line with the word, Faithfully confess, God is able to bring it to pass. Refuse to faint or grow weary in well-doing when you face difficult circumstances. When pressure comes, stand on the word and keep calm until victory comes. Which reminds me of a song called Standing on the Promises. I, since I don't have my new songbook with me, it's at church. I found it in Songs of Faith, Standing on the Promises. Standing on the promises of Christ my King, through eternal ages let his praises ring. Glory in the highest I will shout and sing, standing on the promises of God. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of God, my Savior. Standing, standing, I'm standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises that cannot fail, when the howling storms of doubt and fear assail, by the living word of God I shall prevail, standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises of Christ the Lord, bound to him eternally by love's strong cord, overcoming daily with the Spirit's sword, standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises I cannot fall, listening every moment to the Spirit's call, 
resting in my Savior is my all in all, standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises I now can see, perfect present cleansing in the blood for me, standing in the liberty where Christ makes free, standing on the promises of God. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of God my Savior, standing, standing, I'm standing on the promises of God. Shall we pray? Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your promises found in your word. Help us to take them to heart and keep them there so that they will be available when we need them. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Continue in God's blessings.